Hey dear friends, welcome to JavaFX tutorial. In this course, I will show you and I will teach you how you can work with JavaFX. So let's get started and please make sure you subscribe my channel. This is my channel youtube.com for Norman. Okay. So I want to close this. Uh, open your IDE. Okay. First of all, uh, you can download. You can download. Uh, you need to download JDK. First of all, you should have the JDK. You can go to the official website. Okay, from here you can download the GDK and accept the license. Okay, accept the license and choose the platform you are using. If you are using Linux, you can download for your Linux. If you are using um, Mac OS, you can download for your Mac OS. And if you are using Windows, you can download for your Windows. I'm using Mac, uh, I should download the GDK. The TNG, TNG file, but I have downloaded from before and I don't need to re download. Okay, okay, so I want to close this, and um, also you need to download Eclipse or NetBean every one you. You love and the eclipse. Okay, this is the official website of the eclipse. You can click on download 64 bit. Okay, here from here. can see here is the download link you click that it will download it but I have downloaded it from before and I don't need to download again so I want to cancel this okay so when you download the Eclipse you can install it on your system the installation is very easy okay so let's get started open your Eclipse and choose your workspace and then file or from here you could right click choose project okay project and now from here you can type Java, okay. Java, uh, choose Java project or Java fix. You can download the Java fix plugin. And from here, I want to choose a project name Java fix tutorials, okay. Java fix tutorials, okay. And then click finish. And here is the Java fix. And you can, uh, you can. A new class, for example, my class is up or hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Okay. Hello world up. And also, you can use package I want name I want to name it men and then also you can choose the public static void men but I don't know as you can see here is source package and the men and instead uh, the men you have a class uh, you name lower up okay also so 
now let's create main method because our JavaFX application will run uh, JavaFX application and every Java uh, class will start from main method so we need main method k okay, public static void main and then string str okay this is the main method and also you need to extend your extend your class from the application okay and this application comes from package you should import that jarfx k dot application dot application some eclipse uh, has some restriction for importing jarfx application so you need to configure okay right click here and go to properties and here type here you should type uh, facet just project facets okay and click this and from runtime click this jars okay and then apply and then click okay now as you can see it's okay this is the hello app application has an abstract method and you should implement it okay the method should be all right okay all right okay public static void public static not it is not a static just void start and that have any stage up the that have parameter parameter type is the stage class so you need to import the stage class okay JavaFX that I think it is stage okay that stage so here you need a layout for JavaFX okay you should make a root layout for your JavaFX application I want to make a group okay now now sorry about that you can import it by importing that comes from JavaFX that's in the group okay it's in the group as you can see all the layout is inside the scene. Okay, so good. So uh, this stage as like as is as like a frame, and you put on your frame a scene. So you need a scene. Okay, you need a scene. There is three parameters necessary required. And first parameter you should pass the root layout and then the width and height. Okay. And now you should set scene. You should put scene on your stage. Okay, set scene and pass the scene. Okay. And now you can choose a title for your stage for example hello world up okay and then you can show okay now if I run this will not work because we don't call the launch method okay so we need the launch method here also so now let's run our application as you can see uh, this is our hello world application in JavaFX.
thank you and see you in the next video goodbye